What's going on everybody? My name is Eric. And my name is Cody. And we typically post daily vlogs on our channel, but today we're switching it up with a little sit down type video. Today we're gonna be talking about what we thought we would use versus what we actually used, and then what we wished we would have brought in our hospital bag for when our son was born. So a quick little backstory on our birthing process. I was induced and had a 24 hour labor that turned into a C-section. So in total, we were in the hospital for two and a half days. Um, we know everybody's birthing experience is different. These are just things that we use during our time. Maybe it's gonna be different for our second child. So let's hop into it. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with talking about what we actually used, just in case that's why you're here for this video. Before we start, all of these items are in no particular like ranking order. These are just items that we definitely use. So the first item on our list is just a cozy blanket because I just feel like at hospitals, sometimes their blankets aren't always the comfiest. No, no hate on the hospital. But we went to a store called At Home before our son was born and we just got two super cozy blankets and we ended up using them literally the, the whole time. time. Literally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we had that to cozy up with. So next thing on our list was something for me. It was my robe and nursing bra. I didn't end up changing into those right away. I think it was after my first shower then I wanted to get out of the hospital stuff so it was nice just to have my own clothes to wear and also for the robe it was nice to just open in the front to nurse. I know with the hospital gowns they have the snap so I would snap down but the robe just made it that much easier yeah. and so it was nice to just be in my own clothes after my shower. Not to mention it was like way softer material. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Alright so the next item on our list was a mini little portable fan. We ordered a wireless one from Amazon. You can see here that it's got like bendy legs so we could strap it to the hospital bed and this was mainly for Cody um, but it's definitely something she used because with all the breastfeeding and just, I don't know, being stuck in a bed, you just kind of get sweaty and hot. I and mean, it was just nice for, for her to have that, so. Yeah, and this fan doubles as a portable fan for our baby when we have him in the stroller or in his car seat when it's hot outside. Yes. So definitely liking this cute little guy. So the next thing is um, obviously a going home outfit for me. As far as clothes, it was, like I said previously, the robe with the nursing bra, and then it was my going home outfit. That was all the clothes I brought and that was plenty for me. My going home outfit was just this crew neck and sweatpant little suit that you see. Eric actually made the crew neck for me. He went and got little iron on letters from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, and he just ironed on mama for me and that's what I wore home and I loved it. This next thing on our list is actually a group of items. Um, so it's pretty obvious, but toiletries. Don't forget your deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Whatever that may be for you. For us, what we use is just the basics in this little B-roll clip that you're seeing here. Honestly, we just, for us, we actually helped wash each other's hair in the sink in the room. Obviously, don't forget deodorant. You don't want to smell. You don't want the nurses to smell you. Don't forget your toothbrush and toothpaste because that makes you feel so much better in the morning when you get up and brush your teeth. So, we gained a special guest here. He woke up from his nap. So, we're gonna continue. So, the next item, is for me is hair ties and chapstick. I can't live without chapstick, so I definitely needed that. And then hair ties are an obvious, you know, if you go there looking all good with your hair down and then you're like, all right, I'm done. You <laughs> yeah. can throw your hair up in a ponytail, which is what I ended up doing. I did the honors of losing the chapstick while we were there, so that was cool and it made her really happy. He really did, so maybe bring two. Yeah. Definitely do that. So this next item I think is really important, especially for mom. This is gonna be a extremely long phone charger. So the reason it should be extremely long is because a lot of times the hospital beds are not close to an outlet, at least that you're allowed to use. Um, that was the case for us and it really came in handy. Cody was able to like FaceTime, do whatever she needed to do on her phone without worrying about it dying. That is a must. And then the last thing that we used out of our hospital bag was a going home outfit for Zen, which is our little babe here. We didn't bring anything else for him. Actually, I lied. I think we brought a couple outfits for him. He was never in any of them. We just put him in his going home outfit with a little beanie 
and I think some socks on and uh, wrapped him in a little muslin blanket and we took him home. And that's all we used for him because the hospital supplies you with all that other good stuff. So now we're going to hop into the things that we thought we would need but did not end up using. They ended up just being a huge waste of space and they were just in the way. But again, everybody's experience is different. Yes. We didn't have time for these things. But maybe think twice on these. So the first thing being, we thought we would want our laptop. We ended up using it for watching Netflix for like 30 minutes, and then we didn't take it out at all for the rest of the time. And you could, we could have easily watched TV for that 30 minutes instead. We and just didn't use it. Unless you have something specific for like work that you need to do while you're at the hospital and it can't wait until you guys go home, just leave the laptop at home. Another thing that we brought was our portable speaker. We were like, oh, let's get the vibes. Let's play some music. We didn't reach for that. Honestly, no. Eric just ended up playing me music on his phone right next to my pillow when I wanted it, and I just wanted it quick. Yeah. For me, I'm like, all right, play me music. All right, now stop. Like, it was just, yeah. it was just one of those. Just play me music, put it next to my ear. Okay, I'm done, turn it yeah. off. And that was that. I mean, to be honest with you, we just didn't feel like messing with like Bluetooth and connecting it to our speaker. So if that's something you want to do, then go for it. But for us, we didn't need the speaker. So the next item on the list is an item that was more for me, and that would be the Nintendo Switch. This can kind of go uh, along the lines of anything for entertainment, like a board game, deck of cards, a book. I just feel like I didn't have time for it, unfortunately. So yeah, that was kind of just taking up too much space. So the next thing that we brought with us was our GoPro. We wanted to document the whole thing, obviously, because why wouldn't you? We ended up taking some videos on our phone, but other than that, we did not use the GoPro. We didn't reach for it, we didn't set it up, we didn't, honestly, I didn't even have that on our mind. Do I wish we would have? Probably, but yeah. it's just, that's just like not on your mind when all these things are going on. Yeah, we did, we did take videos on our phone, like she said, and we did make a YouTube video out of it. So we'll put that video down in the description below if you want to see that about our, our labor experience, <laughs> just so you know. Something else that I brought in my hospital bag that I really thought I would want was my makeup. I brought all of my makeup. I thought I just would want to get all dolled up and pretty and cute, but that was definitely not on my mind. And honestly, it would have been difficult to do with my IV, with my blood pressure cuff on. I had an epidural, so I had an epidural catheter line coming, IV line, whatever, coming out of my back. Eric would have had to do my makeup because yeah. it was so hard for me to move anyways. And also, I brought um, fuzzy socks with rubber grips on the bottom to wear in the hospital. Again, to be all nice and cozy. But I think I wore them for a little bit, but I was just so hot, I did not want those fuzzy socks on me. So um, I think I just wore the hospital socks because they weren't, you know, big and fuzzy. But they want you to wear socks with rubber on the bottom so you don't slip and fall. So I think to wrap up this list of items, I think the reason we didn't end up wanting them or needing them is you just kind of, at least for us, just kind of get lost in like the moment. You're just not really wanting those electronics or makeup or any of that extra stuff. That was just us, but we were just focused on the whole experience to be honest. And when we weren't focused on it, we were wanting to sleep. So yeah, take that and uh, Take that. <laughs> Take that and do what you want with it. Yes. So that kind of wraps up the things that we're just kind of taking up space. Hopefully that helps you guys there. So next we're going to talk about things we wish we would have brought with us. So first item for me, I wish I would have brought my nursing pillow. I was having Eric stack like five pillows on each side of me and like on my like lap and everything. And it would have just been so helpful if I had my nursing pillow. All right, so the next thing on this list that I wish I had, and this is more for me because Cody's situation was a little different, I really wish I had brought some slip-on shoes or sandals or anything like that because I was wearing a pair of Vans, like sneakers, and I would want to put them on to go get up and help the nurses or help Cody. But usually when the nurses or the doctor left or I was done helping Cody, I would want to go lay back down with my shoes off so it was just annoying to take my shoes on and off. I just wish 
so bad. The number one thing that I have some sandals or slippers. So the last thing that we wish, wish, wish that we brought way more of were snacks. Yes. We had a couple snacks, some goldfish and Oreos, and little containers, might I add. That's all we had. That's all. So like, when I was starving, I had little mini Oreos to snack on, which was great. I literally could eat the, the whole thing. Did I need more snacks and Oreos? Yes. Yeah. Goldfish, Cheez-Its. Some popcorn. Popcorn. Maybe I think bars would be nice, like granola bars or protein bars, whatever you like. Yeah. Just things like that would be great. Uh, maybe like bring a couple water bottles if you can. I know that might get heavy, like the, the ones you can throw out, because they'll give you cups. Um, and we asked them, like at the, like we felt bad. We're like, we need more water, we need more water. We, I think we ended up just drinking the sink water because yeah. we were drinking so much water. And yeah. even, I've seen videos or whatever of people say to bring your own big reusable water jug or whatever, but yeah. Still, we would have had to ask them to fill it up. Yeah. I think it would have been nice just to have a handful of water bottles, at least yeah. for backup when they were yes. bringing our water right away or whatever. Definitely. So that's gonna wrap it up, guys. I hope that helped you guys pack your hospital bag for your soon-to-be little bundle of joy. If you guys have any questions or comments or things you would add, any opinions on this, leave them down below. We'd like to hear that. Again, everybody's experience is different. For our second little baby, everything could be totally different, but this is just what our experience was with this little guy coming, so we just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Like we said in the beginning, we usually do vlog style videos, so if you like the vibe, maybe check out some of our vlogs and maybe subscribe. It's free. It is very free. To subscribe. And we have a baby. He's a lot cooler than You're us. You're gonna have to subscribe if you want to see how cute he is. <laughs> He's ready to rage. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>